This morning I, I uh, started a new book. It's The Kingdom by Emmanuel Career. It's a contemporary French writer. Uh, I, don't, I don't know how to pronounce his name. It's translated into English. And I got maybe 40 pages in uh, this morning and was really off put and put it down. Uh, I had to do, I left and had to do some Christmas shopping and I came back and I thought I would just start over, just uh, begin at the beginning. And I, I got to the same point and put it down. I was like, this is just insufferable. I'm, I'm not, I'm not reading this. Um, and there's so many things um, that ir 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 irritate me. Um, so the back of the cover, it's uh, it's going to be a story of uh, old, uh, like the original Christians, and it has all these accolades. James Wood from the New Yorker uh, has something to say about it. Uh, someone else says my favorite books about Christianity are Augustine's Confessions, somebody else, and now Emmanuel Career's Kingdom. This book. Well, right off the bat, I'm always irritated when on the cover it says that it's a novel. It doesn't, it doesn't stop me from reading something, but uh, I just think it's stupid. If, if it's a novel, I don't need to be told that it's a novel. And it's like a modern convention. Uh, like imagine seeing picking up a book and it says Madame Bovary, a novel, or Anna Karenina, a novel, Middlemarch, a novel. It's just stupid. Uh, then the, books be the book begins, the, the novel begins with a prologue. And again, I'm irritated. In my mind, if, if you're writing a novel and you're gonna be telling me a story that you've written, you've created, you constructed this thing. And right out of the gate, you say, before I tell you this story, I have to tell you something else first. It doesn't make sense to me. Like, you're the novelist. Write it. If there's things that you need to tell me, put it in your book. Don't have a prologue. And, and then what makes matters worse is that, the, you know, the prologue is about how the, the author um, almost was a writer for a, for a television show and he didn't do it and the show aired, which I just don't care about. Then the book starts and it's, it starts anyway as not a novel but a memoir. It's, it's the author telling me that uh, at some point he divorced his wife and he even puts a letter in here that uh, he wrote to her and if, if, if you're reading a novel you're investing yourself in learning about the author just as much as any of the, any of the characters and so now I have the author talking to me telling me that he's divorced this person I don't know already whining I read this letter and I'm thinking to myself like you know when, when, a, when, when a relationship ends people pick sides I don't know you and I don't know your wife but I'm picking your wife's side I don't like you it's, it's, uh, I'm just annoyed by this person by the author and uh, in 30 pages of all the choices that he's made. And I stopped at the same part both times and he says, wherever it is, I must tell you about my godmother. And I'm thinking to myself, no you don't. I don't need to know about your godmother. This is supposed to be a novel about uh, the early Christians. And you know, it's something that I was really interested in. I was, I was really looking forward to reading this book. Um, it was, it's like, I have a handful of books to, that I was picking from and 
it's like the Christmas season, and it's a book about old Christianity. Now I have some Frenchman whining about his failed marriage, and for some reason needs to tell me about his godmother. Well, I don't need it. I don't need to know anything about you. I picked your book up because I wanted to learn about a story of ancient Christians. Not, not you. And I'm looking at this thing, and it's um, around, I mean, 370 pages. And I'm not spending 370 pages with this author talking. I mean, if I was at a bar, I would have gotten up and moved my bar stool, which is basically what I'm doing. Like, some people think that you need to give a book a chance. Like, maybe, and they'll have, like, um rules. I'm, I'm going to read uh, 100 pages before I make a decision, or I read halfway through the book and I'll make a decision. I don't do that. I, I, I give an author a fair chance on page one. That That's the chance that you get, is when I, I pick the book up and I open it. And, you know, you get a chance on page one, page two, maybe three and if there's nothing redeeming if it's just full of contrivances and uh, an annoying petty uh, st stupid pointless stylus uh, whining I, I, I don't want to be bothered with it and I'm fully okay Accepting that maybe after page 30 or page 50 that this turns out to be the, the, the greatest work of literature ever made. I'm fine just skipping it. If, if, you, if, if it's going to be that great, and this, you know, the authors won all these awards, these French awards. It's a professional, <clears throat> professional man of letters. I'm, mo I'm more annoyed by this than reading the Donald Trump triggered book. At least he's a charlatan and has, you know, has no reputation for being a, like a master of the English language. This guy's a professional writer. He's a novelist. I'm supposed to be entering into some other world and using my imagination. Instead, I'm being accosted by the author, like shoving himself in my face, tell, telling me that he got divorced. Like, find someone else to talk to. I don't know. I'm actually in a, also in a bad mood because I had to go off Christmas shopping and I, 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 I hate going to stores this time of year. Um, and it was the first thing I read, read, I started reading it twice, just as annoyed each time. Um, and I'm, I'm blackballing the guy. I'm not finishing the book, and I have no interest. And, and l unless I get some, like, magical recommendation for one of his other books, um, I'm going to happily skip it. It's bothersome. Like, really, really annoying. I was, I was excited about this book. <sighs> anyway, this isn't... I don't even know if this is a review. Because I, 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 didn't, I didn't read it, but... I guess it, maybe it gives you an idea of my reading habits or my tastes. Really aggravating when you pick up a dud and it's supposed to be good. Um, actually, I read um, Uncle Wiggly in Connecticut. It was a short, an, another Salinger story, which I didn't want to, uh, wasn't planning on reading it, but I was so annoyed by the other guy. Um, I'm going to do another video about that. Anyway, leave a comment if you'd like. Um, thank you. Bye.